Greetings, everyone. My name is Edith Updike, and I'm the Managing Editor of Global Finance. Welcome to the Sustainable Finance Awards Ceremony 2021. It is less than a decade since the first corporate bond issue, and such bonds have grown from less than $20 billion in 2015 to more than $160 billion in 2020. Moody says worldwide issuance of all green, social, and sustainability bonds could well top $650 billion for 2020, 2021 when it's all added up. It's a 32% jump over just the year before. In this context, Global Finance decided to launch our Sustainable Finance Awards to honor the corporate entities and the banks that are taking the lead in financing a transition to a sustainable future. Now, there are many ratings and rankings that are emerging in the sustainable finance world as we try to establish new benchmarks and standards for excellence. Our approach required institutions to submit a detailed entry that included hard benchmarks such as volume and percentage of sustainable financing activities and targets met as well as targets set. A team of global finance editors reviewed all the entries, supplemented that with independent benchmarking research and made the final selections. Our entries also invited each institution to share the details of their top sustainability achievements of the year. In effect, to tell us the stories that made them the most proud. You're about to hear about some of these stories from the winners themselves, but suffice it to say that our editorial team was truly and deeply impressed by what we saw and by how the financial world has really stepped up to finance this change for our future. We could not miss, for example, Societe Generale, which is making a mark in sustainable uh, finance on multiple continents all over the world. Likewise, IFC, which is really taking a leadership role in building the coalitions and the consensus required for us to move forward with unity. Or Bank of China, which vaulted blue bonds into the spotlight with a $942 million issuance. It's only the fourth blue bond in all of history and by far the largest. Clearly, sustainable finance has room to grow and to develop further. It has the support of governments and retail institutional and high net, worth invest, high net worth investors. We are honored to recognize the leaders assembled here today, and we expect to continue to do so well into the future. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. We start our Sustainable Finance Awards with the regional winners across Africa. Winning for outstanding leadership in sustainable loans is KCB. Recognise for outstanding leadership in sustainable bonds, as well as social loans and in green bonds, the winner is Standard Bank. Africa means business. It's not just somewhere to invest. It's where we live, work and build for the future. It's a beautiful continent whose resources need to be protected in order for her to grow. We believe that when you do business the right way, it can be as good for profitability as it is for sustainability. Which is why we're seeking businesses that align to our ambitions of promoting African growth through positive change. We're here for people, here for business, here for dreams. The kind of dreams that turn a signature on a dotted line into power for a classroom. Marking the beginnings of a blueprint for eco-friendly student housing. We're driving sustainable growth across the continent, not just because it's smart business, but because it cultivates the place that we call home too. Because to us, it's the human story that matters just as much as the business story. And if we write it together, the world will read of our success. Standard Bank. It can be. For outstanding leadership in social bonds and also sustainable infrastructure finance, the winner is Standard Chartered. Recognised for outstanding leadership in green loans and also sustainability transparency, the winner is Access Bank. The winner for outstanding sustainable finance in emerging markets is Societe Generale. Recognised for outstanding leadership in sustainable project finance, the winner is Bank of Africa. The winner for outstanding leadership in resource management is Echo Bank. 
winning for financial leadership in sustaining communities is Societe Generale Madagascara. And for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance by a multilateral institution, the winner is TDB. Now for our overall regional winner in Africa. This bank has a particularly strong presence on the African continent, having been there for more than a century and today operating in 19 African countries. In July, the bank acted as a sustainability structuring advisor to the Republic of Benin, which became the first African country to issue a bond that meets the UN SDGs. They also served as solar arranger and co-lender in a transaction to support the debt funding the largest solar power plant in Madagascar and accelerate the country's green energy transition. The regional winner for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance in Africa is Societe Generale. We now move to our winners in Asia Pacific region. Winning for outstanding leadership in sustainable loans, as well as outstanding leadership in social bonds and sustainable project finance, and also for sustainability transparency. The winner is DBS. Recognized for outstanding leadership in sustainable bonds, the winner is China Merchants Bank. The winner for outstanding leadership in green loans is Postal Savings Bank of China. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Green Bonds is Bangkok Bank. Recognised for Outstanding Sustainable Financing in Emerging Markets, the winner is Standard Chartered. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Infrastructure Finance is CTBC Taiwan. Recognised for Outstanding Leadership in Resource Management for Corporates, the winner is Bangalore International Airport. And the Outstanding Leadership and Resource Management Bank is Bank of the Philippine Islands. Recognised for financial leadership in sustaining communities as a corporate, the winner is Coles Group. And the Financial Leadership and Sustaining Communities Bank is Siam Commercial Bank. And recognised for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance by a multilateral institution, the winner is Asian Development Bank. The overall award for Asia Pacific recognises this bank for its across-the-board work in sustainable finance and transparency. Its responsible financing framework merges with its sustainable sourcing principles to improve transparency in ESG operations and includes nine sector guides detailing industry-specific ESG risks, referencing best practices as listed by significant environmental conventions. The sustainable sourcing principles outline the bank's expectations of supplies in human rights, health and safety, environmental sustainability and business integrity. These protocols help guide DBS as it strives to meet its goal of committing 50 billion Singapore dollar towards sustainable financing by 2024. The overall winner for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance in Asia Pacific is DBS. Moving on to the Central and Eastern Europe region, and winning in outstanding leadership in sustainable bonds and also in green bonds, the winner is Refison Bank International. For outstanding leadership in social bonds and for financing in emerging markets, the winner is Renaissance Capital. Recognised for outstanding leadership in sustainability transparency, also for resource management and financial leadership in sustaining communities, the winner is CSOB. The overall top honour in Central Eastern Europe goes to a bank that had 10% of all bonds arranged from May 2020 to April 2021 that were green. In Austria and across the CEE region, the bank was the second largest arranger of green or sustainable bonds in 2020, trailing only JP Morgan, and first by number of transactions. The overall winner for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance in Central Eastern Europe is Refison Bank International. From a climate risk and regulatory perspective, sustainable finance is an inevitable topic. RBI Group wants to assess customers based on their carbon footprint, help them to improve and avoid greenwashing. By expanding opportunities for sustainable financing, we are strengthening the RBI business model. Within our corporate strategic initiative, we established five speedboats, each of them covering essential sustainable finance dimensions. The first speedboat identifies sustainable customers and businesses, followed by technical identification of businesses, sustainable products and advisory, 
risk and regulatory issues, and finally, brand recognition measures and advisory competence. By the year 2025, our most important customers will have an individual RBI ESG score. All relevant stakeholders will be trained on sustainability. All network banks will have established green and social frameworks, and a substantial amount of the RBI group income will be generated from sustainable customers and businesses. We have more work ahead, but are on the right track to become the most recommended bank for sustainable customers and businesses in Austria and CEE. Let's keep up the good work. Moving on to the winners in Latin America and recognized for outstanding leadership in sustainable loans and also in sustainability transparency, the winner is Bank Colombia. The winner for outstanding leadership in sustainable bonds is Itaú Unibanco. Recognized for outstanding leadership in social loans is Banco Pichincha. The winner for outstanding leadership in social bonds and outstanding leadership in sustainable project finance is BBVA. Recognized for outstanding leadership in green loans and also in resource management, the winner is Produ Banco. It is an important honor for Produ Banco to be recognized by the prestigious Global Finance Magazine as Best Bank Ecuador 2021, as well as Best Consumer Digital Bank, both for the fifth consecutive year. Additionally, we are also being recognized in two new categories in this first year of the Sustainable Finance Award. Outstanding Leadership in Resource Management and Outstanding Leadership in Green Loans. These four recognitions makes us proud and commit to continuing to offer the best financial solutions for our clients. Thank you very much. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Green Bonds is Banco de Bogota. The winner for Outstanding Sustainable Financing in Emerging Markets is BTG Pactual. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainability Transparency is NL Chile, NL Americas. For outstanding leadership in sustaining communities, the winner is Banismo. With a long history in Spain, this bank is now working hard to implement sustainability initiatives across Latin America. The bank is cited specifically for the joint efforts of their institutions in Chile and Mexico, as well as the group's work across the continent, where according to Bloomberg, it was the top issue of green and ESG bonds in 2020. In Chile, an astonishing 73% of all bonds underwritten in the last year were green bonds, social bonds and sustainability bonds, whereas for most banks that ratio is well below 10%. In Mexico, they show a similar dedication, working to mobilise 220 billion euros in green finance by 2030 and help customers transition to a low carbon economy. Our overall winner for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance in Latin America is Santander. Now moving to the Middle East region. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Green Loans is First Abu Dhabi Bank. Recognized for Outstanding Leadership in Green Bonds and Financing in Emerging Markets, 
The winner is Qatar National Bank. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Project Finance is SABB. Recognised for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainability Transparency, the winner is National Bank of Bahrain. And recognised for Financial Leadership in Sustaining Communities, the winner is CIB. Our overall winner for the Middle East established a green finance framework in 2017 and issued the nation's first green bond, a $587 million on the London Stock Exchange. It now has six outstanding green bonds valued at a total of $1 billion, putting it at the top of the Middle East market in both number and value of bonds. The bank is also at the forefront of the market as a bond lead manager and book runner. The overall winner for outstanding leadership and sustainable finance in the Middle East is First Abu Dhabi Bank. Now for the category winners in North America. Recognised for both outstanding leadership and sustainable loans and in social bonds, the winner is Bank of America. Winning for outstanding leadership in sustainable bonds, in social loans, in green loans, in green bonds, for sustainable financing in emerging markets, and also outstanding leadership in sustainable infrastructure finance, the winner is City. Our winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Project Finance, Outstanding Leadership in Sustainability Transparency, and Financial Leadership in Sustaining Communities, the winner is Scotiabank. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Infrastructure Finance is NL Green Power Americas. Our overall winner in North America provides ESG-based financial products and services across the region and since 2013 has issued eight corporate ESG-themed bonds totaling $9.85 billion. It is also a top underwriter in ESG capital markets globally. In social financing, the bank issued the first US social bond designed to help combat COVID-19. The $1 million bonds provided targeted lending to healthcare institutions on the COVID-19 front lines. Additional financing to improve the public welfare includes a $1.25 billion commitment to advance racial equality and economic opportunity. The overall winner for Outstanding Leadership and Sustainable Finance in North America is Bank of America. Our final regional selections are in Western Europe and recognised for Outstanding Leadership and Sustainable Loans and also Sustainable Bonds, the winner is ING. Climate change is a speeding train. It's ramming through stations and it's headed straight for us. So what's ING doing? We're trying to help slow it down while also preparing for what could happen if it doesn't. It starts at home, so we use 100% renewable energy and have big targets to keep doing better. But as a bank, for us it's really about two things. How our business impacts the climate and how climate impacts our business. Our biggest impact on climate is through our financing. We finance billions of euros of green projects and companies around the world. We say a flat out no to certain businesses and yes but to others, outlining sustainability changes they'll have to make first and then helping them to make them. We innovate with things like sustainability linked products where rates are linked to sustainability performance. And most importantly, we finance the new technology needed to reach a net zero world by 2050. Things like battery storage and newer, greener ways to make steel. We steer our portfolio towards this technology and away from high carbon technology and measure our progress with our Terra approach. Of course, while we try to make a positive impact on climate change, we also have to limit the impact of climate change on our business. There's physical risks, like floods and wildfires. And there's transition risks, like what happens to car makers who haven't started making any electric cars once those are the only ones legally allowed to be sold. To be resilient to these risks, we have to identify them, understand them, figure out how likely they are, and what their potential impact could be. Those insights shape our business strategy. We do our part as a bank, together with our clients, and commend others who are doing the same. But fighting climate change has to be a united global effort. We call upon regulators and governments to play their important role as well. We've come a long way, and we know that we still have a long way to go. But sitting still is not an option. We're focused on the future, moving step by step to make the biggest difference we can. For us, for our clients, for the world. The 
winner for Outstanding Leadership in Social Bonds is Kaisha Bank. Recognised for Outstanding Leadership in Green Bonds and also Sustainable Infrastructure Finance, the winner is BBVA. The winner for Outstanding Sustainable Financing in Emerging Markets is Societe Generale. The winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Project Finance is Santander. Recognised for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainability Transparency, the winner is LGT. Recognised for Outstanding Leadership in Resource Management, the winner is Commerce Bank. The corporate winner for Financial Leadership in Sustaining Communities is Seven Trent Water. And the bank winner for Financial Leadership in Sustaining Communities is Spurkees Luxembourg. If green, social and sustainability bonds still dominate the sustainable finance conversation, it is European firms that drive sustainable bond issuance, accounting for 60% of the market according to Refinitiv, and our overall winner in Western Europe is a leading competitor. The bank set itself a goal several years back to reach 100 billion euros in sustainable financing by 2025. In the first quarter of 2021, it passed the halfway mark and then some with 59 billion euros, and that's a year ahead of schedule. The overall winner for Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Finance in Western Europe is BBVA. And now we begin our presentation of the Global Category Awards, starting with the recognition of the Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Loans and the Outstanding Sustainable Financing in Emerging Markets. The winner is Societe Generale. Global Corporate Winner for Outstanding Leadership in, in Sustainable Bonds is Bayfront Infrastructure Capital. Our next winner is recognised for both Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Bonds and Outstanding Leadership in Sustainable Infrastructure Finance. This bank's sustainable bonds, along with its green bonds, count towards its overall sustainable finance goal of $500 billion in financing by the end of the decade, with plans to allocate an additional $500 billion for investments towards related social goals for a total of $1 trillion in ESG dedicated capital by 2030. Among these financing efforts, such as micro-lending programs for women-led businesses in developing nations, are a $2.5 billion bond earmarked for construction, rehabilitation and preservation of quality affordable housing for low and moderate income people in the US, the largest ever such bond from a private issue in the US. Our global winner for sustainable bonds and also sustainable infrastructure finance is City. Our next global award is for outstanding leadership in blue bonds. Oceans cover more than 70% of the planet, and maritime pursuits contribute more than $1 trillion annually to the economy. Yet thus far, only a handful of blue bonds have been written. Last year, this bank issued the largest to date, 
a $942.5 million offering meant to support marine-related sewage treatment and offshore wind power projects in that country. The winner for outstanding leadership in blue bonds is Bank of China. Our next global winner for outstanding leadership in social bonds is Bank of America. The next award is for outstanding leadership in green loans. When it comes to green lending, one bank stands out for product scope, geographic reach and industry breadth. The bank has been active with sustainability linked loans. In March this year, they acted as joint lead manager for Singaporean shipping firm Hafnia's $374 million US dollars sustainability linked secured loan facility. And also in March, the bank broke new ground in India in the closing of a $1.35 billion project finance term loan to finance cons construction of a 1.69 gigawatt portfolio of solar and wind renewable projects developed by Adani Green Energy, the first certified green hybrid project loan in India and the largest project financing deal to date in the country's renewable energy sector. The global winner for outstanding leadership in green loans is Standard Chartered. Recognised in three global categories for outstanding leadership in green bonds, outstanding leadership in sustainable project finance, and also outstanding leadership in resource management, the winner is DBS. The winner for outstanding leadership in sustainability transparency is Scotiabank. Our global winner financial leadership in sustaining communities is BBVA. When you hear the word sustainability, you think too big. When you feel you have to do something, you think too complicated. Hold on. Think about your decisions. Get closer. Those that are big or small for you. Your decisions and other people's decisions. Those that have to be made every day. Step back a little. Think of the decisions that add up to many more. There are millions of decisions that change everything, little by little, for the better. Now think about who can help you make better decisions. And there we are. So that what you save, the planet saves too to keep moving forward without leaving anyone behind. And now, when you hear the word sustainability, you think opportunities. At BBVA, we're putting new solutions at your fingertips in order to build a greener and more inclusive future. BBVA, creating opportunities. Recognized for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance by a multilateral institution, the global winner is IFC. We are now left with the two overall global awards for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance, starting with the corporate award. This corporation moved near in 2021 to fulfilling its goal of becoming the most sustainable and just company in the industry with inaugural issuance of sustainability notes in June 
totaling $1 billion, part of a $2 billion debt offering. This followed a $5 billion, five-year revolving credit facility structured as a sustainability link loan, SLL, which closed in May 2021. The SLL has both green and social targets. Number one, achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions across the company's value chain by 2040. And two, doubling its number of African-American executives by 2025. The pricing of the SLL will increase or decrease based on whether they reach those targets. On the social side, it was the first Fortune 100 tech firm to commit to 50-50 gender parity in leadership, a goal the company expects to reach by 2030. Our global winning corporate for outstanding leadership and sustainable finance is HP. And now our final global bank award for outstanding leadership and sustainable finance. This bank has been a leader in sustainable finance globally, including in Europe, Africa and Asia. It served as a joint book runner last year for Asia's first blue bond, the fourth in history and by far the largest, issued by the Bank of China for $942.5 million. It was joint book runner for the first ever sustainability linked convertible bond, Schneider Electric's 650 million euro issue in 2020. The bank has been a pioneer in its embrace and innovative use of sustainability linked bonds and sustainability linked loans, a relatively new and arguably more accountable ESG finance structure where investors earn more interest if borrowers fail to meet sustainable targets. The bank was active in some of the last year's largest deals such as the NL Group's record-breaking $4 billion SLB place in July. Our global winning bank for outstanding leadership and sustainable finance is Societe Generale. We are extremely proud that we have been given the global award for outstanding leadership in sustainable finance by Global Finance Magazine. This prestigious award reflects our continued commitment across the ESG space which began 20 years ago as a pioneer in renewables. Two decades later, ESG continues to be at the very heart of our wholesale banking strategy and our ambition is to help our clients generate positive impact. We continuously adapt the very mandates of our businesses to be ESG by design. This includes always understanding and anticipating the evolving needs of our clients across all sectors to better support them towards a collective goal of ensuring a sustainable future. It goes without saying that this achievement is only possible thanks to all the efforts of our teams who work tirelessly to support our clients as a leader in the ESG space. And thanks to our clients who entrust us to advise and support them. I would therefore like to thank all my colleagues for their outstanding commitment and dedication, as well as our client for their continued trust in Société Générale, which has led to this fantastic recognition by Global Finance Magazine.